Hey guys, just wanted to thank everyone for the tips on what they thought I should do about these uh, these pieces of trash in my car. It's always good hearing everybody's uh, opinions from burn it to throw it away to you're a fucking douchebag to everything. So thanks again. Um, I think I'm going to start doing getting back on track and getting more daily. It's raining in Los Angeles right now, which is very refreshing. Well, I just got a call from David, um, who's up in Beverly Hills, and he ran out of gas, so I'm going to pick him up. We're going to get some gas for his car. Hey, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. This is what happens in L.A., dude, after a rain. Storm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty cool, huh? Beautiful, really. Well, something good comes out of it, huh? Oh, it's just so good for the land to have a uh, rain. I had a fun day driving around. Um, totally meant to put David on camera. And I was just, he needed gas. I had to pick him up to get gas for his car. And uh, we were just so in the, in the mission, in the moment when I picked him up, I didn't even cross my mind to pick up the camera. Um, Anyway, I just got home. Got my got my bills deposited and uh I'm gonna make some tea, hop in the shower. Get some ground turkey cooked with some garlic and maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, show you co the cooking in a little bit. Why don't you come on inside? Hey guys, uh I'm just gonna start cooking some food and I guess a warning would be if you don't like watching guys without their shirts on moving around. Close the video now. Um, I'm gonna make some tomato and garlic and meat, turkey to be specific, and probably put some other stuff in it. Just gonna let you guys see how I do it. Oh, my stomach. Need to work out, brother. I tell you, it's so good. Turkey, garlic particularly, tomatoes are some of my favorite. So this is how, you know, I get it in this, I put it in a bag, keep one in the fridge, got the other ones in the freezer. To keep them good. It's a clove, little garlics. Uh, I don't know if you guys buy much garlic. I buy it in this kind of container. It's amazing. They're, they're so cheap. They're like, it's like a buck, some buck 49 or something for, for five of these. And they last so long, and, and they're so good. Garlic. All right, I'll show you my pretty face. Let's cook it here, where you can see it. Maybe here where you can see it. Is that fun? Um, cool. So first thing I'm going to do is chop the garlic. I'll probably use four pieces of garlic for this. Just because I like garlic. I don't think there's a, a rule of, of how much of anything you use when you cook, which is kind of the fun thing about cooking. However you want it, that's how you make it. And if it doesn't taste right, taste what's wrong and remove that from the next one. Oh, I could just use it all. It's like more fun than playing a video game. Making food. Garlic's peeled. Now I gotta get a tomato out. Maybe two tomatoes, depending on how much sauce I want to exude in the meat. Could make two tomatoes, but I kinda want them to last. I have three more. Why don't I do one tomato? This will be a good beefy stuff. A good beefy stuff. Just the way I like it. All right, now to chop it. Can you see? Can you see? First the tomato. I like to cut it real thin, tomato. I love really like thin cubed tomato. Eating a piece of tomato is okay, but it's like overly saturated when you bite into it. 
when you slice it up, it's allowed to like give off all that juice to every everywhere around it rather than hold it within the tomato. And it's so good. It tastes so good. Tomato it like creates its own sauce when you cook it. Smells great. Fresh tomato, dude. I suggest, highly suggest everyone try this if you haven't before. And by this, I mean slice some tomato up with your food of choice. I like garlic. Chopping the garlic. I don't know if you can see, should I, should I put it here so you can see it better, maybe? You see that okay? Same thing I do with the garlic, I do with the tomato. I cut it real thin and then kind of cube it almost. Cut it into segments. Garlic is similar. It holds it holds its flavor really well. Um, like celery, I mean I definitely chop celery up. All the vegetables, I don't let any vegetable, I don't use it whole usually, but celery kind of absorbs flavor. Um, the skin isn't really all that protective. Celery is not a bad idea. I'm just doing kind of a haphazard chop right here, if you can't tell. Just kind of chopping it where I can, having fun with it. Eating a bit here, eating a bit there. You know. Alright, it's chopped and ready to go in the pan. So this is what I've come up with. One tomato, several cloves of garlic, or several pieces of a clove of garlic. Two more tomatoes and another few things of garlic. This would just be a meal. But see, I like to eat meat. I'm a meat eater. Sometimes right now I'm in the mood for some ground turkey. I'm sorry if you're a vegetarian. I mean, it's your choice. And you don't have to watch me cook meat, but the meat really absorbs the flavor. And like, my theory on meat, well, I got a few is that, you know, we're made of meat, so meat is kind of good for our body. But two, we should really make meat in laboratories and have, like, meat makers. About that much meat, maybe? Maybe a little bit more. I'm in a meaty mood right now. But, you know, if we could just, like, make meat like bread, like have meat makers, um, we, it would be way better. We'd be able to make the meat, we could flavor the meat, we could grow it with stem cells, or whatever kind of cells. And, uh, and we wouldn't have to pet up animals, you know? Because it's not like meat is bad for the human. Meat is really good for the human. That's why we're all here. It's because, well, not all of us. I mean, I guess it's feasible that... Some gener some some group of family or whatever grew up uh, all vegetarian for the last thousands of years, but I doubt it. So it's like I think vegetarianism comes from like this this realization of how we're brutalizing uh, creatures animals. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it. And I do mean a little bit because the salt is really to make the flavor in the vinegar come out. Just a touch. It's like this, the salt is like the, the fire that starts the ignition. Mmm. like vinegar. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. 
Thank you, Kevin, for leaving this here months and months and months ago. A little bit of olive oil, extra virgin. The reason I use olive oil is to kind of give it something to simmer in besides the meat juice and the tomato juice. I'm going to start cooking it. It doesn't take too long. I'm trying to cook it too high of a heat. But, uh, this is going to be really good. This is going to get kind of soupy. And, uh, oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to put some chili powder on here. I'm going to try to heat down a little bit. Go. Kind of get it all mixed together, juices. Get it to become one, one juice. Wow, the garlic. See the water boiling. Getting, getting hot in there. It's so fun. I love it. Blending it together. It's like painting, but then you eat it. See, it seems so dry, but once the tomatoes start getting really hot, they like explode outward in this juicy formation. They're like, I can't take it anymore. I can't hold it together. Too late. And they're all like, and I'm all like, mmm. Here comes the juice. Chili powder. I would use ground cumin if I had it. Mmm, this is coverable. It'll just simmer in itself for a minute. I need a bowl. Alright. Looks steamingly good. And the water is about ready. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Wat has boiled. Tea will soon be ready. So I'm going to put this into uh, into here. Nothing wrong with licking the spoon when you're done. Or while you're doing it. Because when you're the cook, you can do anything. I'm going to make some mint tea. And then I'm going to enjoy this food. So, uh... This is something I do with mint tea. I let it go into my eyes and breathe it in. Oh, it feels so good on the eyes. Strange as it seems. All right, everyone. So here we have a turkey, garlic, and tomato medley. 
Oh, yeah. I'm going to season this up with a little bit more chili powder. I could put a, a little bit of hot salt, maybe a little bit of tapatio. I know, tapatio is salty. It's not too salty. It's mostly peppers, right? This stuff's good. A little bit of tapatio, a little bit of chili powder. A little bit of fun, fun, fun. Okay, right, everyone. Thanks for watching my show today. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. Um and everything else I was doing. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe, comment, star my video five stars, or whatever, however many stars you feel like it deserves. Um, and let me know what you would like to see me do, because I've got a pretty busy life. And I have uh, a camera, so I'd be happy to take you along and show you about stuff. And LA is a pretty vast city, so there's a lot of choices. And uh, take care of yourself.